Today we're going to take a look at some of the special features of a parabola. A parabola is a graph that we get when we graph a function that's quadratic in nature. We know to graph a function, we simply begin with a blank graph, create a table of values, plot the points, and then connect them with a nice smooth curve. Notice that the parabola has no sharp points on it and no straight lines. It's a fluid curve all the way through. Now let's take a look at some of the special features of the parabola. Notice we have this point right down at the bottom. We call that the turning point or the vertex. It's called the turning point because it's where the parabola changes direction. Notice it's going downward and then it gets to that point and it turns around and starts going back up. For that reason we sometimes refer to it as the turning point although its formal name is the vertex. Take a look at the x-axis. Notice we have these two points where the parabola crosses through it. We call those the zeros or the roots. They were named the roots because in ancient times we thought of agriculture and that's where the parabola was growing out of the ground just like a plant would and so they're called the roots or the zeros. We also have one last feature to look at. Notice right down the middle we have this line. It's an imaginary line and it goes right through the center, cuts the parabola into two equal pieces. We call that line the axis of symmetry. The parabola is exactly identical on each sides of that line. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples to kind of go through and analyze some parabolas. Let's begin by taking a look at the equation y equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. First begin by constructing this graph. Please take a moment now to pause the video, create a table of values and draw the graph. Then come on back, we'll take a look and analyze the parabola. Are you ready? Let's take a look. Here we have the graphed parabola and the first question they ask is does the parabola open upward or downward? Notice that the opening is up toward the sky and so the parabola opens upward. What is the equation for the axis of symmetry? Well, that's the imaginary line that cuts the parabola in half. The axis of symmetry always goes up and down. Here it is and the equation for that line is x equals 1. Next we're looking for the vertex, the turning point of the parabola. That's this spot right down here at the bottom. The coordinates of that point is 1, negative 8. Is that vertex a maximum or a minimum? Well, minimum means the lowest point and so this vertex is a minimum. Finally, what are the zeros or roots of the parabola? The zeros or roots are where the parabola crosses the x-axis. We have those at the points negative 1, 0 and 3, 0. While we're at it, we can take a look at the domain and range just like we do other functions. Domain and range from left to right is negative infinity to positive infinity. The range from low to high is from negative 8 to infinity. In our next example, we want to graph the equation y equals negative 2x squared minus 8x minus 6. This example is for you to try. Please pause the video, construct the graph, and then answer the questions analyzing the parabola. Once you've completed that, come on back and check your answers. Here's our completed graph and we know that the parabola this time opens downward. Its opening is heading toward the ground. The axis of symmetry is the equation x equals negative 2 and our vertex is at the point negative 2, 2. We see that the vertex is a maximum and we have our roots or our zeros at negative 1, 0 and negative 3, 0. So here's everything you need to know about graphing a quadratic function. Begin by plotting points using your table of value, connect the dots using a nice smooth curve and then you can look at it and figure out your important items such as your axis of symmetry, your vertex and your zeros. That's everything you need to know about the graphs of quadratic functions.